All right, Happy New Year, everyone. Today is January 9th, 2022. It is technically the morning also. I'm filming this just a few minutes after midnight. Stayed up a little bit later tonight to uh, sort of get this project finished. As you guys know, last week, if you watched the video I did last week, I was having some issues with my Simplex 4005 panel here, which have, uh, as far as I know, been fixed. So uh, what I'll quickly sum up what happened last week. If you didn't watch the video, I went to change the membrane keys on this panel since uh, when this panel was down here uh, a year ago. We had some water come in, and the membrane keys got all pruney and messed up. Thankfully, I had the old membrane keys from the original CPU that was on this panel, so I went to switch them back out last week and got frustrated trying to reconnect the ribbon cable from the CPU to the power distribution board, and unfortunately, ended up breaking one of the pins off on the power distribution board. And I got the parts right here. I'll tell you about the power supply in a minute, but this is the power distribution board that I had on here. This was a replacement power distribution board, might I say. And you guys can see here, these are the pins. And uh, you guys can see, look really closely. Let's see if the camera will. There we go. I just absolutely destroyed that bottom pin right there. Snapped a piece of it clean off and the other piece is all bent. So I had an offer from someone actually to fix this. So I'm going to see about uh, getting it mailed to them so I have an extra part because these are gener generally very expensive on eBay. Anyway, while I was in the process of taking off the power distribution mod uh, module or board, whatever you want to call it, I went ahead and decided to start looking in, you know, I had to find a replacement part, a second replacement power distribution board. And I also had to, I decided to track down a replacement power supply because, as you guys know, I've had a persisting earth ground trouble on this panel ever since I um, originally got it. And uh, I tracked that down. I tr traced it down to the power supply. So this is the original power supply that was on this panel ever since I got it. I finally removed it. And I did replace these parts. I got on eBay, and I don't know how, but there are a crap ton of, especially the power distribution boards, um, as well as power supplies, just a crap ton of them on eBay for actually really fair prices, which is honestly just blew my mind because these power supplies are so expensive on eBay. And what was so cool is that I was able to track down both a power distribution board and a power supply from the same seller, which is why I'm 99% sure that the parts came off of the same panel. And uh, let me show you, finally open the door and show you guys inside here. Look at her all put back together. New power supply and new power distribution board. So this power distribution board and this power supply, like I was just saying, I'm 99% sure they came out of the same panel. The uh, seller um, was located out of Elizabethtown, Illinois, which is way far south of here. It's a southern town. But what's nice about, you know, the seller being so close is that I was able to get these parts fairly quickly. You know, I'm in the Chicago suburbs. He was all the way down in southern Illinois, but these parts probably got here a little bit quicker because of that. And I was able to buy them together. He had them listed as uh he had them listed separately and i made offers on both of them and he gave them both to me for really good prices i think the power supply i got for 150 and the power distribution board i ended up getting for like 30 or 40 in total i think i think the total was like 188 or something like that so pretty much 200 dollars to replace the power supply and the power distribution board on this panel and uh, just another fun fact, the name of the special person in my life is Elizabeth. So Elizabeth Town, Illinois, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, anyway, looking at this, my two cards, my IDC zone card 
and my NAC relay card are both the uh, same as before. The CPU is the same as what I had on there. So the CPU itself is the same. This is the original um, membrane key panel part that I originally got with this panel. So as far as what's original to this panel, the cabinet is original. The membrane keys on the CPU are original. The DAC card is original and the uh, metal chassis is original. That's pretty much all that's original on this panel. Otherwise, I have at this point completely uh, rebuilt this panel for the most part. I uh, also liked this power supply in particular because it does have this paper over it. It's the exact same part number as that one, but I've seen 4005s with and without this paper, which is kind of flimsy, but I kind of like it. It sort of protects the um, components inside to an extent, and it does have this flap door over the wires, which I like. That was another reason in uh, picking that one among all the other reasons I just listed, and it looks pretty good. Trust me, getting this stuff back together was a pain, and how I was able to properly reconnect this ribbon cable perfectly, I don't know. Took a lot of um, wiggling and bending the pins back straight. But as you guys can see, I did it, and I did it properly. The only difference I noticed, this is the same part number, but difference I noticed between this uh, board and this one, that one is a lot darker green, and it looks a little newer. It's dustier, but it looks uh, newer, so I'm wondering if that... Actually, I've got this turned upside down. There's a better side-by-side -side comparison. That's a darker board, so I'm wondering if that one is a newer part, or it could also be an older part, too. It's kind of hard to tell. But if you guys are ever replacing your power distribution board or replacing your CPU, this ribbon cable plugs into that blue piece. That blue piece does not come off the power distribution board, and you should not try to pry it off. I learned that lesson the hard way because uh, it doesn't really go back on the same, and if you try to attach the blue piece to the end of this ribbon cable and get it back in there, it does not work like that. So anyway, um, just wanted to share that update with you guys. I am going to power it up. I have not powered this up yet. I put everything back together. I'm a little nervous. I hope nothing uh, starts on fire or starts smoking here. But I'm going to go ahead and power it up. I removed all the wires. I have some resistors on here. It's going to throw a few troubles. Um, but what I'm really looking for is, of course, number one, that nothing, like I said, nothing starts smoking. And number two, that my earth ground trouble is gone. So I've already got it plugged into the power strip over here. We're just going to go ahead and recheck everything. I think everything looks good. And uh, there's my, like I said, this was a real pain to get back in. To line these up and then get this plugged into here, it was a, <laughs> this panel, you know, they call it simplex, but it's definitely uh, far from simple. But everything looks good. I'm just gonna hit the switch here and see how this works. I hear a little bit of a clicking sound in the power supply, so hopefully that's nothing. Self-test in progress. Cold start. Should get at least one more trouble here in a minute. I forgot how quiet the uh, piezo was on this CPU. Should have probably made sure I had all this set correctly on the power supply. I think it's just that 115 switch and that dip switch. I don't even know what that dip switch is for, believe it or not. Huh, maybe all the troubles have already shown up, so let's see what we got here. Got five troubles here. It's really hard because the panel's not mounted, so it wants to kind of sway. Let's see, we got system time and date, battery connected, 
audible signal circuit, RUI card one, RCU card. That, I think that's my enunciator. I don't, I, it's been so long since I've uh, programmed one of these panels. And pull station fire monitor zone. So that's what I, uh, that's actually what I named the entire zone because I only use pull stations on this panel and I only use the one zone. But uh, guys, holy cow, look at this. My earth ground trouble is gone. So that is absolutely incredible. So, so far, so good. No more ground fault. So now I know it. my ground fault is definitely in this power supply and the same person that offered to fix this um, offered to take a look at this for me, which I really appreciate. Um, I've been so busy and everything, I didn't even... And I've talked... I've gone back and forth with the person a few times. I think it's... The name of the user is Doc Brown's Radio Lab, I want to say. But... Uh, I'm going to be holding these parts, and uh, he offered to take a look at them for me, so I'm going to see about getting those shipped to him, and then if I have the power supply go out or the power distribution board, I'll have a couple extra parts for the 4005. I got uh, this guy down here. This was actually an original card that came with this panel when I got it, and the thing is I have never plugged it in. This is one of those, uh, I think this is actually a more rare card, that you don't see very often. It's This is a combination IDC and NAC relay card, so you can have, uh, I believe, yes. So this can double as both a um, NAC and a zone card. You can have both NACs and zones plugged into this card, which is very neat. And I believe the way this panel is set up, this card can only go into slots four or five. Um, it can't... These first two slots are made for zones. This one is only made for NAC relay card, and these two slots are optional. It's whatever you uh, want or need in those slots. The only reason why I haven't been using this or had it plugged in is because this one, and where is it? Let's see. Looks like it has a blown out chip on it, and this panel had a lot of issues when I got it. It had a couple parts that were blown out, on it, including the power distribution board and one of the other cards. I think a couple of the other cards that I originally got with this panel back in 2015 were blown out from what I su suspect to be a lightning strike. So um, I don't really trust it with that little chip in there. So I might end up just throwing it out or maybe I'll get on the uh, Facebook group, the uh, Fire Alarm Enthusiast Facebook group that I'm actually the moderator on, and uh, see if anyone has any suggestions. Heck, maybe I'll see if someone wants to fix that one for me, but anyway, that's all there is to it. She's, uh, I think she's pretty set to go. So I just wanted to share that update with you guys. 4005 is back in business once I get it rewired, and Guys, stay tuned because obviously I got the 4010 over here, which I'm still working on getting that set up as well as the battery cabinet. And guys, don't forget, I have a giveaway going on. If those of you, uh, for those of you who might have not seen it, I'm giving away two fully functional 4010 panels. And that giveaway ends, I believe I put it as January 20th. So uh, just about... 11 or 10 days from now, that giveaway will be ending. So make sure you get your comments in if you want the chance to win a fully functional Simplex 4010 panel. In addition, I got some other uh, neat stuff here. You guys are seeing some stuff right now. And uh, there's a possibility, not promising anything right now, but I'm looking at possibly getting, uh, hopefully, this whole system up on the uh, wall over here because they had to tear out so much of the drywall when they uh, fixed some of the cracks in the foundation where water was coming in. And the drywall, knowing our landlord, is never going to be fixed. So he won't care if I destroy it with some holes. So I'm uh, very much considering looking at actually getting this stuff mounted. So I'll have some real uh, 
wall system tests and no more floor system tests, but that'll be when I find time. I've uh, got a lot going on in my life right now and it's, I'm just uh, so busy, but 4,005 is up and running and uh, hopefully the rest of this will soon be to follow. So thank you guys for watching this update and uh, that'll be it.